Hi, my name is Joe Joyce and I am a solutions architect with Smartware and I'm here today to talk to you about contract testing, PACT, the open source tooling that supports contract testing, and PACT Flow, the enterprise tool that Smartware provides to teams that want to scale their contract testing to the next level. So what is contract testing? Most software organizations in 2023 have some kind of service-oriented architecture in their overall software architecture, which means multiple distributed components, often microservices, that need to be able to communicate effectively with each other in production in order to deliver a good user experience to the end user. So how do we test that type of a setup? The traditional approach would be end-to-end -end integration testing, which means we deploy all of these individual services into an environment at the same time, and we run our tests through all of those services and observe the results to find out if we can expect successful interactions between all of them when we go into production. So this is a fine way of doing things at a certain scale, but it doesn't always scale very well, by which I mean the more teams you add, the more services you add, and the more complex the scenarios you're testing are, the return on investment for end-to-end -end integration testing isn't always very good but we still need to get confidence that these services are going to be able to talk to each other when we deploy them into production. So how do we do that? This is where PACT comes in. And PACT is an open source tool that implements contract testing. What is a contract test? So if we take a look at this workflow diagram here, the idea of a contract test means that we establish a contract between two services. One of the services is the consumer, the other service is the provider. And as the names suggest, the consumer needs some functionality from the provider. So the consumer uses PACT to write tests that establish their needed behavior. Those tests get converted into a contract by the PACT library, and those contracts get published to a PACT broker, which is an application that sits in between the consumer and the provider. Then on the provider side of the workflow, the latest version of a contract is pulled down into the provider environment, usually as part of a CI CD build, and the consumer interactions get played back by PACT against the provider to find out if the provider can successfully meet the consumer's requirements. Those results of the verification on the provider side get published back up to the broker, and that's where users will find information about the status of certain integrations. The broker will tell you what a consumer needs, and whether or not a provider is able to fulfill those needs. So the broker is an important application in this setup. There's an open source version of the PACT broker, which is something that you would host yourself in your own environment. It's a very useful tool, but there are some limitations with the open source broker that PACT flow resolves for teams that want to scale contract testing or teams that don't necessarily want to host the PACT broker themselves. So let's take a look at some of the differences between the open source PACT broker and PACT flow in a bit more detail. Now let's take a closer look at some of the main advantages that PACT flow offers over the open source PACT broker. So first and foremost, the main advantage is that we host PACT flow for you. So there is a SaaS version of PACT flow available. If you're using the open source broker, you'll know that you have to host it yourself and manage the application, manage the database, and any other overhead that might go into managing the broker application. With Packflow, we take that off your desk and manage that for you, so you can just focus on getting the benefits of your contract testing initiative. Similarly, Packflow offers better role-based access control, which makes scaling and onboarding other teams easier. So by that, I mean with the open source broker, there are really only two types of users, a read-only viewer and a read-write viewer. There isn't really a good way to separate what one user sees in the open source broker from what another user sees. With Packflow, if I open up my settings here, you'll see that there are roles available that can be assigned to your users. And you can combine these roles with the Teams functionality to make sure that Particular users and teams will only see the contracts that are relevant to them when they log into Packflow. And this can help when you're trying to scale contract testing to other teams 
across a large organization. From a functionality perspective, the other big difference between the open source broker and Packflow is the presence of bi-directional contract testing. So the type of contract testing that you do with the open source tool is called consumer-driven contract testing, where the consumer writes their pack tests, produces a contract, and publishes that to the broker, where the provider retrieves the contract, replays the request against itself, and provides a verification result. In that example, the provider verification happens in the provider's environment. With bidirectional contract testing, you introduce the concept of a provider contract. So we're looking at a bidirectional contract test here. And if I go to view the contracts between my payments UI and my payee provider, you'll see that there is a consumer contract as expected, which summarizes the expectations of the consumer. But what's different in Packflow is that now we have a provider contract, which is an open API specification. So why is this a good thing? Bidirectional contract testing is easier for a provider team to get started with if they're already using the open API definition in their API design and development process. It means that all the provider has to do is publish this open API contract to Packflow along with functional test results to show that they have implemented it successfully. And then this open API file gets compared with the consumer contract. So the verification, instead of happening in the provider environment, as in consumer driven, happens in Packflow. The open API file from the provider gets compared to the consumer contract. And if the consumer contract is a valid subset of the provider open API definition, we have a successful integration. So there's always room for both types of testing, both consumer driven and bi-directional within an organization. Some teams might use consumer driven, some teams might use bi-directional, but the fact that bi-directional contract testing is available in Packflow often makes it a better choice because it gives teams more flexibility, especially if they're already using the open API specification in their work. So you have bi-directional contract testing, you have the fact that it is hosted by us, so it's a SaaS solution. There is an on-prem version of Packflow available too. And your role-based access control, things like single sign-on, things that make Packflow better suited for scaling across an enterprise. Along with that, if you're using Packflow Enterprise, you also get access to the SmartFair technical team and the Packflow technical team. We can help with training and onboarding and troubleshooting any issues that you might have with implementing contract testing to make sure that you're cutting down on any end-to-end -end integration tests and getting the benefits of contract testing as best as possible. So if that sounds interesting and you'd like to hear more, be sure and get in touch with your SmartBear account manager or get in touch with us through our website. And we'd love to talk to you more about contract testing with Packflow. Bye for now.